Good morning. God bless your hearts real good. May the Lord bless you real good. Once again, this is the service of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Coming up to you, giving you Jesus Christ words. Now, let me deal with this See, yes, Lord, got to go farther. You hear me, you good church God, Christ people. It will pass on everybody else that sang that song. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's that, that, that more than an anthem. It, it's got to go farther. You got to be yes. You got to be so completely out. Hallelujah. You got to deny yourself. Yeah. You got to cast down the imagination of every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of God. Brothers and sisters, it, 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 I've said it before and I say it again. Yes, we may have disagreements. Saints have disagreements. Yes. We may have disagreements. But no disagreement on this. We cannot disagree on no part of the word of God. We can't disagree on this. You got the, yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus said, my sheep know my voice in the strain and they won't follow. You got to know his voice. This is voice here. Not no Moses voice. Or Abraham voice. Or Noah's voice. Or Cain and Abel's voice. When they offered sacrifice to God. You know you're there, you're there, tiny, you know, everyone before the law. What was that tiny, you know, that one before the law? What did it consist of? Go back to Cain and Abel, pray, God rejected Cain offering. Hallelujah. Because sin lied at the door. God accepted Abel's offering. What was Abel's offering? <clears throat> Animal. What was Cain's offering? Grain. There was nothing wrong with the offerings. Hallelujah. There was nothing wrong with that. But he rejected Cain because sin lied at the door. You can't offer God nothing to see Now, those offerings it be good. Also, come on up there. Yeah. With the law of Moses, the offering was the same. God don't receive that no more. Because he offered his son, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ offered himself. That's the last offering, Jesus Christ. And he's alive. He's not dead and burned up like those animals.
Hallelujah. Glory to God. Did no priest offer Jesus like the priest offered your offering in time? But he offered himself. Those things could never take away your sin. Even, even your tithes and offering before Abraham. Even your tithes and offering doing Moses. They could never take away your sin. In the book of Hebrews, same chapter, it say, uh, uh, if they would have did it, did, did, if they would do to have done the job, then would they have ceased to be offered? Don't have no more sin, so I don't need to offer this no more. That was the purpose of for your sin. But Jesus came. You do know you said that if you owe God some tithe and owe God some offering, you do know you are saying Jesus did come. You know that, right? The same chapter of Hebrews. Nevertheless, you got to believe every word. Christ, the end of the law for righteous, only Christ can take away your sin. Only Christ, his blood, not the blood of that, your tithes and your offerings, but only Christ. But you said, well, Christ ain't enough, so we need to give tithes and offerings. Glory to God. Now, trust me, all right, let's go, let's get to the point, in the 8th chapter of the book of John, verse number 31. Jesus said, read it. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him. If ye continue in my word. The problem is Yahweh continuing in his word. Yes, you receive Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. You believe in your Baptized, hallelujah. Ah, and, 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 and he was somebody filled with the Holy Ghost. Speaking of the other the Spirit gave up. Yes, y'all. Praise God. And you preached holiness and righteousness and preached the gospel of Jesus Christ. And you, you even say your own self. The the sacrifice could save us. The law could save us. Yet you turn right around and tell for God still requires sacrifice at all. In the second chapter of the book of Galatians, verse 18, 19, 20, 21, you make yourself a transgressor. You frustrate grace. Jesus said, if you continue in my word. John 8, 31, if you, Jesus said to the Jews, we believe it on him. See, you got to continue. But as far as y'all go and say, say, my feel with the Holy Ghost, do speak in tongues, and the Spirit give me under. Hallelujah. Some of y'all women don't wear pants, don't wear makeup. Some of y'all don't watch TV, don't go to the beauty parlor, don't wear your read, and don't... You go no far. But Jesus said, John 8 31, if Jesus said to the Jew, we believed on him. Yeah, ah, and he said to you today, you that believe on him. John 8 31, God glory to God all day. Read with me. 
Glory to God. John 8, 31. Look at what Jesus said. Jesus said, Did said Jesus to those Jews with the ya, 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 ya. Quit believing on him. Let's back up. Let back up. Hey, 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 Glory to God all day. To break Twenty three. Shoot. Look what Jesus said. That caused them to believe on him. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Look at what Jesus said that called them to believe on him. John 8 23. Yeah. Jesus said unto them, Ye are from beneath. I'm from above. Ye are of this world. I'm not of this world. I said that for all to you that you shall die in your sin. See, he would go back on verse 13. He would talk to the Pharisees, but others heard. Oh, oh, oh. Hallelujah. Yeah, I, I told I, 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 I told you time past. Yeah, I talked to false prophets. I have been on some of their shows. I'm talking to them. But my purpose was not them, but for those that hear me, that they may believe. Hallelujah. 13, verse 13. The Pharisee that was said here, that thou bear record thyself, thy record is not true. In other words, Jesus, you lie. <laughs> John 8 13. Then look at 23. Look at what Jesus said that calls them to believe. Jesus said unto them, verse 23, ye are from beneath, are from above. He talked to the Pharisee. You from beneath, I'm from above. He would talk to the one that did believe it. Uh-huh. Ye are of this world. I'm not of this world. I said therefore unto you that you shall die in your sin. Where in love and kind of have I drawn you? You know when you talk, when you tell people they go to hell, they say, where would love and kind of have I drawn you? Look at what Jesus said. I said that boy to you, you shall die in your sin. For if you believe not that I am he, you shall die in your sin. That's the best. They said they to him, who are you? Jesus said unto them, even the same that I said unto you from the beginning. I already told you. I know how to keep going on. I have many things to say and to judge of you. But he that sent me is true, and I speak to the world old thing which I've heard of him. God said it. God did come down here and put on the body. God did divest himself. God said it's on Jesus. I didn't want to take time to tab your theology. Twenty-seven. They understood not that he spake to them of the Father. 
This is Jesus of Leo, where ye have lifted up the Son of Man. To my own cross. Then ye shall know that I am he, and that I can do nothing of myself, but that my Father have taught me, I speak these things. And he that sent me is with me. The Father have not left me alone. For I do always the things that please him. After Jesus gave that message, and gave that rebuke, and exposed them hypocrites, as he spake these words, many believed on him. Many believe as he spake their words. Now Jesus wasn't talking to them. He was talking to the scribe, Pharisees, and hypocrites. But the one that heard if they believe. I don't care what you said. Hardly with a word going for. Hallelujah. <laughs> many go believe. They may not come back and tell you, but they go believe. <laughs> yeah, they are. Lie you lie you shame lie you to heard the truth by God, but you uh, you scared to speak the truth because you scared of your past. You you won't get go get your hell bound rock nomination, and all of them hell bound. Cause Jesus they don't have no nomination. Jesus they divine nomination is from earth. Nomination is of the world. Not from above. Woo! Glory to God. Man, I love this. As he spake those words, many believed on him. Many of you believe, as I was giving you the word of Jesus. Glory to God, I have. Had the preacher come to me. He said, Man, what you preaching? I tried to tell a bunch of church God Christ preachers the same thing, but they bishops, but they would not hear. I told him, you keep preaching. Huh? As he spake these words, be to believe on him. Glory to God. It's important that you speak the word. Oh, they go see the seed when the gospel of the kingdom is preached. The seed fall everywhere. They fell on the Pharisee. But what kind of ground was they? They wasn't no good ground. They were wayside. In stony places. And the devil come and steal the word out of their heart. They were good ground. <laughs> Read about the different ground in the 13th chapter of the book of Matthew. Glory to God. As he spake the word, be believed on him. It's important that you speak the word, preacher. Speak the word. You, you, you ain't got to have no church field. You ain't got to be in no poor pit. You ain't got to be, be no hell bound rotten pastor of a church. You speak the word. Glory to God. Now watch it. They said Jesus told you would believe on him. And here's the one that believed. Jesus told him something. Not to you talking to them. If you continue in my word, then now you might decide to do if you continue. Remember at some point, a lot of disciples stopped following him when you say you got to eat my flesh and drink my blood. Lob stopped following him. They knew what he was talking about. They knew he wasn't talking about no cannibalism. Go and read that. Glory to God. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Now, these are the ones that believed on him. Watch this. They answered him. These are the ones that believe now. We be Abraham, see, we never be buzzed here, man. How sayest thou, we she shall be made free? See, as that's them, apparently I say unto you, who's a man commit sin and serve sin? 
<clears throat> but we be Abraham see. They look at natural. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. They look at natural and so they go, brother, thou, he who the son said, free and free indeed. You are certain sin, you commit sin. You know, when you go talking like that, folks say, well, you ain't showing love. Well, love can't have a problem. With you. you love to argue and fight. Had someone tell me, you must love the argue. No, I'm correcting and rebuking. Hallelujah. First thing said, I know you Abraham see, but you see to kill me. Look at that. Now these one that believe on him. See, so you got to get all that stuff out of you. Get all the way. I believe, I believe, yeah, but You believe, Christ, yeah, Christ will take away all your sin. You repent of your sin. Believe on Lord Jesus Christ. Call on him. Yes, he'll take away all your sin. But there's still some teaching. And doctors of men, you got to get out of you. That's still in you. I know you ain't have seen, but you seem to kill me. Call my word, have no place in you. You see that? Uh huh. I believe all it, but 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 but. You see that? I speak that which I see with my father, and you that which you see with so far. If you were Abraham, children, you would do the works of Abraham. See, Jesus had correct, but no, no, you ain't Abraham, children. You a lie, lie. But now you see to kill me, a man that told you the truth, which I heard of God, this did not Abraham. You, you got to correct these people God know. You do indeed your father. They say, we ain't born the father, can't we have one father, even God. Jesus said, if it's God with your father, you'll love me. For I perceived it for me came from God, neither came out of myself, but he sent me. Why do you why do you not yet understand my speech? Even because you cannot hear my word. Remember, if you continue my word, you are your father devil. They didn't continue. <laughs> yeah, you see that? Oh, we gotta put it in your face. And, and because I tell you the truth, you know, you believe me, not you don't believe me. Praise God. He that love God, hear it, be a great for said, He that love God, hear God's word. If ye therefore hear, ye therefore don't hear them because you not of God. Yeah, that's good right there. You don't hear them. You don't hear God's word call you daughter of God. You didn't reject God's word. You ain't of God. You're not of God, I said. No, Jesus said. You ain't of, you're not of God. It's a lot. Yes, you, you believe on him, but it's some things, some teachings you got to get out of you. Let me show you this. I want you to go to Acts, the 13th, the 14th chapter, 15th chapter, I'm sorry, Act 15, watch this. And certain men which came down from Judea, taught the brethren. 
See, a lot of teaching, you still being taught by the fall prophet. And said, except ye be circumcised after the manner of Moses, you cannot be saved. They came and taught the brethren. You got to learn how to let the brethren be a curse. Certain men, the certain men be a curse. See, all these teachers going on. Go to verse 5. Now watch this. But there rose up a certain sect of the Pharisees which believed. The Pharisees here, a certain sect, they believe. Watch it. Said it was evil to circumcise them and command them to keep the law of Moses. You see that old Pharisee stuff still in them? That old Pharisee talk? Yeah, they say, we not denying that they say, but they need to be circumcised. We ain't denying that they say, but they need to keep the law of Moses. And this is sick of the Pharisees quit believe. You got to believe every word that proceed out of the mouth of God. You can't, you can't be saying, well, ain't nobody out there. Ain't nobody perfect. Can't nobody be perfect. So a seed for your miracle. Time and all is still required by God. Bring a false prophet among us. Brother, sister, you can't do that. You got to believe every word. And the reason when the man of God or woman of God bring you the word of God and you don't believe it, you can read it. And you still don't believe it because it's not in your heart. Your thoughts still in your heart. That old teacher you've been taught from, your Zion and Bishop and Bishops and Superior and, and Superior and State Mamas and Organization, that's still in you. But everything in you gotta come out. All false teaching gotta come out. You only go ahead when Jesus come. Everything in you gotta come out. Not only see it come out, pray God my false doctrine got to come out. What you've been told all your life, it got to come out. And you will not receive it. Some of you watching me now, you won't receive it. We gave you scripture on the law, on tithing and offering, and Sabbath day. You won't receive it. And you're talking and talking. You know why you won't receive it? It's not in your heart. You reject it in your heart. You still hold it on to the old false and error teaching. You believe, but you only went so far. But you still hold on to it. You got to be circumcised. You got to pay tithes and offering. You got to keep Sabbath day. You still hold it on to that. Though we took scripture shows. Some of you won't even look at the scripts. Because you say, I don't want debate. That ain't going to help you, though. You got to believe every word. You got you got to believe every word. My God, you got to believe every word. Every word. That word have I hid in my heart. Every word you got to believe. Yeah.
Christ is the law. You got to believe that. I, 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 I told I, I had a preacher to read that he told me to my face, sitting on the front pew. I don't believe it. Romans 10. Christ is the law of a right. He said, I don't believe it. He told me to my face. Oh, the law is good. The law is good. No, the law ain't good. The law shows you you are a sinner. Why did the apostles read the New Testament? The letter they sent to the church. And most of those letters, praise the Lord. Why did they have to keep telling the church? The law is low, the law over. The law ain't required. The law didn't do the job. Christ the high priest. No Sabbath day required the holy day. Why did they have to keep telling the church, church that? Here is why. Because the church kept hearing. All that stuff still required. They still were Jews. They still went to the temples. They still went to the synagogue. Jesus preached in the synagogue in the temple. Jesus was the pastor. Yet he preached in the synagogue and in the temple. Yes, he did. The apostle preached in the synagogues and in the temple. Also, the Pharisees and hypocrites preached in the synagogues and in the temples also. So the people hear all those words. They hear what the Pharisees said. They hear what the false prophets said. And they also hear it, what Jesus is saying. So they still hear hearing that teaching. Praise God. And that being Jew by birth, right? They still fellowship with one another, they observe the past, over all that kind of thing. So he still had connections. So they were still hearing. Jews still telling them that when we just read in Acts 15, you got to circumcise them. You got to. Tell me, keep the law both. Why did the apostles have to keep telling them? Saved by grace, saved by faith, justified by faith without the deeds of the law. What the law could not do. Why did they have to keep telling the church that? They had to keep telling the churches that. Because you still had those <coughs> teaching what they've been brought up in, born in. The law and all that kind of thing. Talk from a child of glory to God. You see? All right. I believe I could, I could go for it if need be. I may do a part two on this. The read you can read the word, and you still don't believe it, cause it's not in your heart. You didn't take it to heart, yet you read it and looked at it, but it's not in your heart. What is in your heart, you'll preach right. Has one tell me? You don't, you used to preach something you used to preach against, you don't preach against no more. That's right, because of this. I read this, and I said, yes, Lord. No matter what nomination taught me, and I've been in church all my life, no matter what nomination taught me, yes, Lord. Nevertheless, yes, Lord. No matter what uh, preachers taught me, uh, yes, Lord. Glory to God. You got to 
when the word come to you, you got to hear it. You got to continue it. That's how you grow. Some of you are standing. Ain't nobody going to hear and preaching lies. Ain't nobody going to hear and preaching tithing and offering is still required by God. You ain't going to heaven. You're going to hell. Uh-huh. And you come tell me about old pioneers that preach that. They know better. And you don't know what they repent of they sin before they took their last breath or not. God ain't gonna have you in. Many know better. I know a preacher, he's dead and gone now. Someone came and told him. And he got up and told the congregation, well, I know you saying this about this and about this and about this, but I'm going to believe Malachi 3 and 8. What it be with it I'm still going to believe. Folk tried to tell him. Yeah, bishop. But they reject it. They reject it. We can show you the word. And you still reject it because it's not in your heart. But what's in your heart is what you've been taught. The error you've been taught is still in your heart. You can read the scripture and still talk. I've talked to, I had a phone conversation. I've taught many of the elders. But I had a phone conversation with one. He read it. He said, he admitted the word is right. You're right. And I dad about saying if you say it, if you say it, if you say that, I've read it, if you speak or train me, you will add to Christ yourself. He said, done that. I believe it's right. Now he'll turn around already. And going back to preach. Time law is still required. You guys are tired. You know why he's doing that? Though he read the word. I showed the word. He read the word. He agreed with the word. It wasn't in his heart. It wasn't in his heart. He wasn't preaching his heart. It wasn't in his heart. It, didn't, it, didn't, it wasn't in his heart. It was in his head. <laughs> it he never took it to heart. It wasn't in his heart. The reason you reject the word, man of God, woman of God, because it's not in your heart. You only go so far. It's not in your heart. You can read the word, but it's not in your heart because your denomination is in your heart. And your pastor bishop is in your heart. But Jesus' word is not in your heart. That's why you can reject him. After reading yourself, you reject him. You can't believe. And we're going to keep preaching. Whatever the word is. Uh-huh. Whatever. Say they're going through the tribulation. And we show scripture on that. Say, well, you can't retake it literally, but we show scripture. Praise God. Give it call the word without repentance. Ain't no sinner got no spirit to give. What about God? We showed them and Joe, we were talking about Israel and so on and so on. Yeah, but, uh, but, uh, uh, yeah, but, but you still preach. Give it call the word without repentance. Why? It's not in your heart. You read the scripture, you will talk the scripture, but you it, you never received it in your heart. You looked at it from your head, from your mind, <laughs> but it was never in your heart. Never. It's not in your heart. God's word don't have a place in your heart. That's why you reject God's word, whatever that word is. Way no bad without sin. 
you know better than that. And we take it to us. Same thing. Talk to a preacher. I said, wait a minute. Bible said we confess. I said he favors us for killing. I said clear from all unright. So you mean to tell me what Jesus clears up from all unright that we still got sin? He said, no, not till you do it again. And he started preaching. The Bible said ain't nobody without sin. He did receive that in his heart. He did not receive the word of God in his heart. That's why you can read the word of God and reject it at the same time. Because it's not in your heart. Meditate. Observe to do. You ain't observing to do every word. Stand to show yourself approved unto God. A work would need not be a say. Right to divide the word truth. You ain't studying to show yourself approved unto God. Because you show sure ain't right to divide the word truth. Uh, don't err from the truth. Live by every word proceed out of my God. You ain't doing that, God, no. All right, let's leave it there. Thank you, Bill.